What's happening, people? Back with another reaction, back with some more Savoy. And we're going back to their 2001 album. <laughs> Look at that leg stretch. And we're going back to Reasons to Stay Indoors, 2001. And the next tune is Fearless, seemingly playing off of the word fearless, but running in the opposite direction and providing a list of fears, meaning they're not an absence of fears, but perhaps enough that they need to be numbered and listed. So if that isn't the case, I would expect them to be psycho-emotional, interpersonal in nature. I don't quite know what to expect, even if that is the essence of the word, and obviously it might be something else entirely. So let's see what I can pick up on a first listen. This is Savoy. The track is Fearless, and it's from the 2001 album Reasons to Stay Indoors. Oh.
few other subway tracks where I've said this when Lauren is on the vocals, but that feels as close to a garbage track as they've gotten. And I don't mean refuse, I mean the proper name garbage, uh, the Shirley Manson group. Um, but yeah, as I said, there was an edge to this one, an electronic edge in particular, a sort of bristling um, electronic depth to it. Also, I like what I think were just these very... Um, carefully placed guitar bits. There were perhaps some keyboards going along with that. It was hard to tell some of the the smaller ingredients in the sonic composition. But yeah, also I like the the percussive rhythm to it. I like the um, rhetorical question sections, which I wonder about some of the phrasing of the questions and asking the milk one in two different ways, like as a transitive, did you spill the milk or did the milk spill, which are both active voice expressions, but one putting the responsibility on somebody else and one saying that the milk spilled uh, with an implication that maybe it just spilled on its own. And obviously spilling milk is often used as uh, an expression or a metaphor for uh, the problem that begins that is very messy and is not easy. Like same thing with, you know, getting the toothpaste back into the tube. It's not easy to do. Once the mess is created, it's pretty much out there. So I don't know if those lines were indeed uh, pointed and um, with very specific meaning or if they were just general expressions of attitudes and sentiments related to interpersonal um, interactions. But running away on a summer day, you run away from things that generally are not pleasant or are scary or dangerous, but a summer day is often held to be a very pleasant type of environment. So a lot of interesting things going on in those questions alone. And yeah, just an, an edge to this one and a bit more of an electronic sound. So, as I said, I don't think there's... I do think there's other Savoy songs where I've had kind of that notion that, wow, this sounds a little bit outside their normal sound, even though over the course of a few albums, what I consider to be their wheelhouse has definitely grown and expanded, and I realize they do have some notably different flavors, including specifically whether it's Paul or Lauren on the lead vocals. But yeah, this one definitely had a bit of a wickedness to it. So. Curious what the fear list is all about. Let me know if you do have an idea. Luca and I will see you next time. Peace.